morning, your majesties. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy day 27 of Princess Giving. I hope y'all are having a good day today. And Annabelle wants to say hello. Okay, real quick before I get into today's story and before I do my little rundown, what if I told y'all that y'all are going to be getting four story times tomorrow on Thanksgiving? Four story times. On Thanksgiving I'm gonna be giving y'all I'm gonna be treating y'all because I love y'all so much and here's my Texas shirt oh did you guys Annabelle says hello okay and now I'm gonna be continuing the series of the Chronicle of Life and the reason why I chose this series is because Adam McIntyre inspired me I'm gonna be meeting him on February 25th and it's and his tour is called the chronically online tour so yeah so, okay, so, um, chapter 26, it's this title, She's Not Dead. Okay, I've already placed all the contracts that you've already agreed here. All you need to do is sign them. The rest of the plans that you need to make decisions are placed on the left-hand side. The assistant maliciously? Metaliciously placed all the work that Oswald had, accum had accumulated over such a long period time of period time period of time in front of Oswald. All right. Also informed the company's executives that the meeting will be held at two o'clock this afternoon. Oswald's expression was cold. He was not an arrogant playboy when it became to business. He was absolute metalicious. However, Oswald and Kate, however, Oswald occasionally wanted to leave the office. He looked deeply at the photo of Vanessa on the desk, and his eyes were filled with trace with a trace of attachment. Oswald, where did you go these days? I came I came to the company to look for you, but the assistant said you were on annual leave. Elena was refused access to the villa by Oswald, so she often came to the company to look for him. Didn't I say that you were not allowed to appear in front of me again? Oswald's face was cold. He had, he had long since found out that Vanessa had nothing to do with the R-worded case. He believed Elena's words were he believed Elena's words and wronged Vanessa for so many years. But after, all, but after all, Elena has stayed by his side for so long. So Oswald did not stiffen the relationship too much. Oswald, I know I am wrong. Elena's eyes instantly turned red as she knelt down in front of Oswald. Please don't abandon Elena. Elena cried. I know I am wrong. Her tears rolled down her eyes. Elena had always been bullied by bad people. Without you to protect me, Elena has suffered enough, had already suffered enough. In the eyes of others, this look, this look was truly pitiful. The assistant was expressionless. He obviously did not intend to expose it. Just now, he happened to run into Elena, who was quietly hiding at, at the corner and dropping eye drops in her eyes. He did not want to interfere in this matter. Get up first. Get up first. Oswald helped her up, looking at Elena in front of him. He did not know how to deal with her. Although he had already given Elena composition, she was mentally injured and was now just a poor girl who could not take care of herself. It would be cruel to abandon her just like that. I will arrange special servants and regular therapists for you. Don't run away. Oswald only treated it as a good thing and he still took Elena in. Thank you, Oswald. Have you found Vanessa? Elena to pretend. Elena pretended to be sensible and obedient. 
She had already figured it out. Ever since she was disliked by Oswald, everyone in the surroundings didn't put didn't put her in their eyes. She did not wish to replace Vanessa at Oswald's as Oswald's wife for the time being. As long as she can make Oswald feel as pity for her as before, it would be good. Um, I found her when he mentioned Vanessa. A smile suddenly appeared in Oswald's eyes. Knowing that Vanessa was safe, knowing that Vanessa was safe was already his luck. Not to mention the two of them also met once. Almost unable to maintain the pitiful expression on her face, Elena was forcefully suppressed. Elena was forceful, forcefully suppressed her her furious expression. Vanessa didn't die. Okay. Vanessa didn't die. Elvira had assured her repeatedly that Vanessa had died to the point that her corpse was rotting away. How could Vanessa still be alive? That's great. It was also because I was so confused that I said those disrespectful words. Now I regret it. I wish I could apologize to Vanessa face to face. Elena wiped, her, wiped the tears from her eyes without sincerity. Um, she only wanted to know Vanessa's whereabouts from Oswald's mouth, if she knew Vanessa's whereabouts. She would kill her. After, all, after crying in front of Oswald, Elena removed all the treatment she had previously enjoyed. Oswald's secondary card was open for her again. In the middle of the night, wearing a white dress, Elena quietly entered a secret bar and whispered to the bartender at the front desk. May I ask if there's if there is any white rabbit milk tea here? How many cups? Pour much sugar into it. The bartender uh, restrained his philippious expression and brought Elena to a mysterious private room. Another with another waiter came to take over. Elena followed them around and finally arrived at a mysterious place underground. The heavy iron, the heavy iron door was opened and the messy sounds below caused people's ears to ring. This is the new little white rabbit. Take her to see brother Enrique. Elena followed him until she arrived in front of a man whose face was covered in scars. Um, Brother Enrique, Elena, oh, Enrique, Elena said politely with a charming smile on her face, I've heard of your fame and a long, I, I've heard of your fame a long time ago. Now there is a business. I wonder if you want to take it. Admise. The chaotic music, Elena titled up her coat and walked out of the bar with a crazy smile on her face. In order to kill Vanessa, she had already paid a huge price. Now she was waiting for good news from Enrique. Deep beneath the bar, there, was nat there were naturally some specialized people who had already started operating quickly. The man in camouflage clothes pulled out a gun from the vault. After finishing his deal, we'll come back late. We'll come back to enjoy our vacation. The surrounding mercenaries always cheered. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Y'all are going to be treated tomorrow. Don't worry. Um, so if y'all are new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart in the song lyrics of Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video with four videos. You guys are getting four videos tomorrow.
Love you. Bye. Bye.